What's up everyone, Andy with the Heartland Institute, bringing you more from climaterealism.com. So today, we're going to talk about the claim that global warming is leading towards more malaria deaths worldwide. Now, this study that I'm referencing comes from Penn State, and I'm going to read the summary for you. Malaria parasites develop faster in mosquitoes at lower temperatures than previously thought. The findings suggest that even slight climate warming could increase malaria risk to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, including travelers, in areas that are currently too cold for malaria parasites to complete their development. Okay, so essentially that study saying, even if there's modest warming, millions more people are going to get malaria, so we should expect malaria deaths to increase across the world. Well, let's look at the data. So what we're looking at here is a chart that shows global malaria deaths by world region from 2000 to 2015. Now, the Earth has modestly warmed during this time period. In 2000, malaria deaths were approximately 839,000 people. By 2015, it was 438,000 people, so it's decreased drastically. This chart also shows which regions in the world most malaria deaths happen in. We can see it's predominantly Africa, followed by Southeast Asia. Now, what's interesting is that North America and Europe have had zero malaria deaths since 1990, so 30 years of global warming ago. The important fact here is that the Earth has modestly warmed, but the global malaria deaths has decreased drastically, not increased. There simply is no link between malaria deaths and a modestly warmer climate. It's Andy with the Heartland Institute. See you next time. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.